Israel Epstein out here in the beautiful desert today. You can see that uh, here it almost feels like spring, or possibly summer. It's getting to like 70 degrees outside. It's a little warm for my taste. I really like about 65 or 60. That's just me. <clears throat> so what are we doing out here in the desert today? I think this was a pretty important subject that I wanted to talk with you guys about. I know that if you're watching the channel and you watch uh, Nothing Fancy or Such or some of these other guys that are doing defensive pistol and carbines and stuff like that, you know that I know what I'm doing and that I know how to load my weapon and I know how to hit my target. But here's the big question that I'm not sure that maybe, I hope you are, but maybe we need to focus on a little bit more is, does your significant other know how to do this? I mean, do, or do you need to load the gun and cock it for him and hand it to him and say, okay, now just point it and shoot it? I don't know that that's the best way to do it. Um, make sure, I think you should make sure that your wife, significant other, your children who are old enough uh, to be able to do so should be able to find the ammo, load the weapon, cock the weapon, and shoot the weapon effectively. So uh, today I have brought out uh, Mrs. Epstein to kind of do a little drill, just a quick drill with her. Uh, to say here's some ammo and a clip and a gun go let's see what you can do so uh, you know with no help from me and uh, I think that most of us need to kind of get on board with this really make sure that anyone uh, that you care about is just as proficient maybe not as proficient but at least as capable of, of handling a firearm as you are maybe not as proficient but just as capable uh, so without any further ado we're going to run through a couple of drills here that I highly recommend you put your wife, your girlfriend, uh, your children through just as soon as possible. Uh, now I'm not going to say that we're doing this to arm ourselves for some type of an apocalypse or the government coming down to, to you know, take our guns away. That's, that's not what this is about, okay? This is not a, a uh, Second Amendment issue per se. <laughs> This is basically an issue of protection and self-defense, which is really not what the Second Amendment was about anyway. The Second Amendment is about protecting yourself from a tyrannical institution or government. We know that. The people in the media and the people talking heads, I, I don't know how they don't know that, but that's irrelevant. Uh, but we're talking about just being able to defend your place your person and your family and having your kids and significant others and even maybe your friends or your neighbors uh, you know to be ready and to understand how to use a firearm in case they should ever need to use one so without any further ado let's get to that and take a look and see what happens so here we have mrs. Epstein we'll call her Miriam Miriam Epstein <laughs> now I have just given Ms. Epstein a box of ammo, a, a, a magazine, a high capacity magazine. How many rounds does that thing hold, Ms. Epstein? It says 18. 18? And right now, because there's not a bullet in it, <laughs> I'm not sure which way it goes, but I think it's like this. Is that the right way? <laughs> <laughs> Okay. okay, so here's take, take two. two. <laughs> okay, so now she has figured out which direction the bullets are going to be traveling, and it is not you back. Don't think about this stuff when you, the you, guy. Always I does know it for the you. guy is always doing it for you. That is correct. And that's the guy's fault. That is the guy's fault. I will take full responsibility. <laughs> So, now you don't have to fill it all the way up if you don't want. We're just going to kind of, you now have demonstrated that you can figure out which way the bullets go, which is awesome. Do you think that if someone broke into my home, I could ask them real fast? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I have... Okay, so you got a couple of loads in there. I have 12. Apparently 12. Now that holds 19 in the clip and one in the chamber so that that pistol right there it's an xdm springfield xdm 3.8 stainless steel nine millimeter will carry 20 rounds 
Now that is going, that could potentially be an illegal weapon soon because it has too many rounds and you should not have that many rounds to defend yourself. That's way too many rounds. Okay, so now let's see if Ms. Epstein can load this pistol and actually hit something. Now she's moving over here. She's keep. I like how she she I keeps the gun uh, keep pointed in a safe direction. Her father taught her that a long time ago. So she has inserted the clip. She she has. Want to get your phone? She has. What is she doing? She is rocking the slide to chamber a round. Now she doesn't have any hearing protection on. So we're going to just pause for just a second and get her some hearing protection. Okay, so now we have some hearing protection, and Mrs. Epstein does not like muffs because they are not cool and sexy looking. <laughs> so let us now see if having loaded this weapon, Ms. Epstein can actually hit anything with it. Because she's got a steel plate over here. Let's see. I want to check my grip first. You want to check your grip? Okay. Yeah, because you showed me how to hold it in Colorado where you pull back with this hand and forward with this hand. Uh-huh, uh -huh. it's, it's your thumb. Right. So it's like this. Actually, no. Uh, right hand on there first. This one? Uh-huh. And then you wrap the other one around it. Like this? Yes. With your thumbs, both thumbs pointing straight. Like that? Exactly. Just keep them out of the way of the slide. That gives you a good grip on the gun. Okay, so let's uh, let's see if you can hit that thing. You got it. Nice job. Nice. Well, you are just en fuego, aren't you? Oh, you missed once. Look, yeah, I think you might be slightly right. Okay. How many? Uh, okay. Now let's. Uh, that wasn't too bad, man. Not too bad at all. Let's move over to this paper target, and see if you can put three rounds in the black, uh, orange circle there on the right hand side. Let's see what you can get. Uh, how close can you put these three rounds? Do you want me to be this far away? That's fine. Yeah. This is a good distance. It is a decent distance. Let's see what you can do. <laughs> <laughs> let's see what you got. One, two, three. All right, excellent. Now let's take a walk up here. Just keep your gun set pointed in a safe direction. And let's see what your holes struck. Oh, you crazy girl. Look at you. I must take after my dad. Yeah, Mrs. Epstein's father holds like a police record of, you know, 50 yards inside the 10 ring some crazy stuff but yeah she might have got some pistol shooting uh, skills inherited from her father apparently because she's smacking stuff like she shouldn't be able to that's pretty impressive nice job so do you feel that you are capable of loading and chambering and firing fairly accurately an XDM 9 millimeter. Not under stress. Not under stress, Just, okay. Yeah, I would have to do this all the time. Yeah, good Good point, good point. So, maybe a little bit more practice is in order. That's not a big deal. It's yeah, easy. and not so much with the pointing and shooting, it's the... It's the this, uh, getting ready. It's the loading, unloading, it's all the other stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay, cool, cool. Well, let us try a different gun now, okay? see how we do on that one okay <laughs> all right <laughs> all right so now we have given Ms. Epstein a second weapon what do you got here hold us up show us what you got now we have a Baikal Russian Makarov in 380 ACP I have given her some uh, ammo and a clip or magazine see, that's just it you got me the right clip the right ammo. <laughs> Good point. See what you did? Good point. And you know what? You are correct because take one of those uh, 380 rounds and hold it up next to a nine millimeter. They're we, uh, when, very we, similar. We don't know the difference. Yes, women. We would be may... trying to put 22 bullets. In this <laughs> <No>. <laughs> don't say no. Okay. Not everybody has the experience. That's you true. Have. Very I mean, true. I know, but very true. 
Very and true. as far as getting this out to load it, yep, I yep. think I totally missed that. Okay. He just gave me a tutorial. <laughs> <laughs> There's a button on the bottom. On the bottom. Uh -huh. This that, thing? That thing right there. You just pull, pull it, it back. Pull it back. I don't think people realize that. Uh huh, uh huh. Good job. They okay. think if you can pull the trigger, then you can use the gun. That, yes, I understand That's totally. Not true. Okay, so you got him going the right way. <laughs> She's got him going the right way. If I put him in the wrong way, shoot <laughs> me. Nice job. Well, I was pretty impressed over here with that little group you got with the XDM9 okay, in, but in the ring there. You know, That's pretty nice. You can shoot in a group as long as you can get your gun to shoot. And there's a lot of stuff you got to do before it's That is shoot. definitely true. Definitely true. <clears throat> so, so far... She has been able to remove the clip. How many you got in there? <coughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's it. Okay. Okay. Now let's we'll see if we can get them pointed in the right direction. Yes, we got them. They're going the right way. Oh, she slaps them in like a big dog. <laughs> now what we went. Now what you going to do? Safety's already off. Safety's right? already off. Yep. And uh, what are you going to do now? I'm going to. You going to rack that slide and get one into the chamber? Yeah, you already I'm do trying that. I think of the best way to do that. Okay. That was not too. Hard. That's not too bad. It's a little stiffer than the XDM. Okay, so am I shooting? Uh, let's do the same thing first. Let's go over to the steel plates and see if you can hit a couple of steel plates with that thing. And then we'll see how you group on paper. Can I get farther back? Uh, that's fine. <clears throat> let's see what you can do on here. One hit. Two miss, just slightly to the right. Three hit. Four hit. Okay, let's move over to the paper. Very nice. Not bad at all. Go to the center of the red square. Oh, did you take out your muff? I took out one. You took out one of your little <laughs> plugs for your ear. Nah, I'm sorry. Should have reminded you. Yeah, just go to the square on the left-hand side and let's see how you do on the that one. The diamond thing? The diamond thing, yeah. Let's see how many rounds you can get in there. That's one, that's two, that's three, that's four. All right, let's see. <coughs> well, we'll be there. Again, not bad. You're pretty darn good with a pan gun, Betty. I've been calling her Betty since I was like 18, and that is not her name. I have no idea why I call her that. <laughs> Good shooting, sister. <laughs> All right, so how do you feel about that little 380 ACP? I like it. Not bad, not bad. It's not as pretty as my gun. <laughs> it is not as pretty as your XDM, is it? No. But hey, you got that thing. Now, how do you know how to release that, sl that slide? <clears throat> it's cocked in the back position, meaning the chamber's empty. No, I don't. I might try to. Yeah, go ahead. That thing right mm -hmm. there. Up or down? Down. Just slams it forward. Now you can just pull the clip out, pop another one in, and then do that, and it'll automatically load the round for you. <clears throat> but you're out of rounds. So let's move on to our next weapon. Good job. Not bad. All right. So this time we have given Ms. Epstein a, let's see what we got here. We got a mini 14. We're giving her an assault weapon with a 20 round clip. Also way too many bullets, possibly going to be illegal soon. But, uh, you know, looking and here's a here's a tip for you know make sure that you inform your people that you care about and that you're trying to teach that somewhere on the gun it is going to tell you what the caliber is now this gun says 0.223 remington or 5.56 and you can see that the rounds say the same thing so you you know that's a good thing to teach your wife <clears throat> here's what it says on the barrel and then here's the ammo that you need for it 
Uh, the Baikal uh, Russian IMEZ says 380 ACP. The XDM says 9 millimeter, and you need to find the right shells. So, you know, make sure that your family knows which gun goes with which ammo and, you know, how to load the magazines. Because, you know, sometimes uh, Ms. Epstein will be looking at a clip and go, you know, I'm just, I can't tell which direction these things are supposed to be going. Yeah, totally when you got a banana clip like <laughs> this, it's a little bit easier to see. But here's another kind of clue. But you guys you... know that it curves like yeah, this. Yeah, right. But I'm looking at it going, well, let's yeah. see, what have I seen on TV? And here's a little bit of a clue. Do you notice these things that bend around are almost always grabbing the case of the I body? I noticed that from yeah. those. You can see that on these on each of these clips the the part that is going to grab the shells is to hold on to the body of the shell is always on the back end okay so that's something to keep a lookout for I didn't fill that you don't need to fill it <clears throat> just yeah put your ear protection in that thing is incredibly loud <laughs> all right so now what we've done here <clears throat> is we have given Ms. Epstein uh, a box of 223 ammo, a 20 round clip, and a mini 14, okay, with a scope on it. Now we have a different mini 14 that is uh, tacked out, you know, with a with a, a combat close quarter combat scope on it. And as long as she understands the function of the weapon and how to load it and fire it, it doesn't matter what kind of scope it has on it. She can use it. Okay, so now what we're going to do here is she can do, uh, let's see if she can go ahead and get this thing loaded and chambered. <laughs> loaded and chambered. Oh, Lord. <laughs> okay, so she's going she's gonna to stick it in here. Ooh, she got it in. Very nice. <laughs> you notice how it rocked back a little bit? Yeah, you kind of forward back. Yeah, forward okay. and then back. That was a nice job. Okay, let's see what you got now. She's now. not yeah. feeling very fancy with this weapon. Okay, let's see what you got now. Oh, she just put a, one in the chamber. She's fully armed does this and ready gun to. Have a safety? It does. Right. <laughs> yes, it does. See if you can find it. That's it. it. Goes forward and backwards. That is a forward, and that is that is safe. Okay. That is fire. All right. Go. Okay. Now you can. Now what do we have her to shoot at? We got a steel plate down there at 100 yards. Now that's a little bit of a challenging strike. Let's see what she can do. Standing. You can try it standing or kneeling, if you like. So wiggly. Yep. Safety? No, it's just like... <laughs> it's just going all over the place. Okay, here's something that we want to consider. Right now, this thing is set on nine power. Now, that's <laughs> going to be a little bit more wiggly. If you back it off, you're not going to be able to see it as closely, but it will be less wiggly. This something that... is really killing me. I think I'll... Oh, you want to do it from... you want to do it from there? Can you do it from there? Maybe. Yeah. Okay. That brass is probably going to hit me in the forehead, but that's okay. That's a hit. That is a hit. You are hitting it like a bad gnat. Yes! Hold on, let me zoom in on the plate and they can see it wobble and vibrate when you hit it. Go ahead. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're empty. Yeah. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Good so job. Take this clip out. Yeah, yeah, take the clip out. Let's see if you can take the clip out. Beautiful. Beautiful. Not bad, sweetie. Not bad at all. Good job. Do you want to shoot a little more handgun? Okay. All right, cool. Now let's see if uh, Mr. Epstein is actually as good as Mrs. Epstein. <laughs> I 
I think she might be a little better than me. Let's see about the grouping on the paper. <clears throat> I'll go for the bottom <coughs> left diamond. So that's four. Let's take a look at that. Four rounds on this diamond. Oh, no, you didn't. Oh, oh yes, he did. <laughs> that's not fair. One, two, three, four. Three of them touching each other. That is sweet. Let me try it with the 380. So, 380 ACP. One, two, three, four. Oops, a little high. Now we'll try this one on the bottom right diamond. Two, three. <clears throat> Not bad. Not bad. All right, so she is loaded up and ready to do it again. Let's see how she does on these pistol plates. One hit. Two hit. Three hit. Four hit. Five miss. Hit the center. <laughs> nice. Okay, let's see what you can do on this paper here. You got a smaller target this time. Let's do the top right diamond. Aim small, miss small. <laughs> Go ahead and put five in it. All right, let's see how you do on five rounds to the top diamond. <clears throat> Looks like your group opened up a little bit, but that's still pretty darn deadly. It's not bad. You got one, two, three, four, five. Not bad at all. Cool. Pretty good shooting. How do you feel about that? You feel fairly fairly capable of grabbing a weapon, loading it, and uh, possibly killing a moho. Well, I'm gonna hope it's already loaded, and all I have to do is. Yes. Well, we uh, uh, that is something that we do at our house is we keep the guns loaded at all times. Uh, there, we do not keep rounds chambered, but all you have to do is grab the gun and rack the slide, and you're good to go. Uh, so. I guess I'd probably want to do that more. Yeah. Yeah. I just. Yes, yeah, a little, right. I don't want to be hesitant about that if that's what I got to do. Sure, sure, absolutely. Cool. All right, so um, I hope we've learned a couple of things here. You know, make sure that your wives and daughters and sons and grandmas, whoever's living in your home, uh, make sure that they know where the ammo is, which ammo goes with which gun, where are the extra clips which guns shoot which ammo. Uh, you know, make sure these are just minor things that if your family has all kinds of guns in, in the house, but they don't know how to load them or load the clips or get a chamber and, you know, get one chambered, uh, you might have more trouble than you'd want. So uh, think about that. I hope that uh, this has been instructive for you. I hope it has been. 
uh, and it certainly has been for us. I know that uh, I need to get uh, Ms. Epstein out here a little bit more to get her more, you know, comfortable. But she has her own life, and she's not a big old gun shooting person. But for the sake of safety, I want to encourage you to whether your wife or children really want to or not doesn't matter. This is something that they need to be taught. Uh, it needs to be, if for nothing else, how to handle these things safely. Uh, yeah, you know, if you're just doing it in the house, uh, you know, how do we do this? How do we do this? You can use dummy rounds or use no rounds, but just show them how to do some stuff so that they, they're at least semi comfortable with it, semi proficient at it would be great, but at least to have an idea those bullets go with this gun and this is how we load it and this is how we have to shoot it. So uh, regardless of whether they're into it like we are, you know, we're gun shooting fanatics, but uh, if your your friends and your family members that you care about, uh, we know that this world is getting a little cuckoo and there's mad people shooting each other for no reason. Um, arm yourself, folks. It's a little dangerous out there. You might be able to save someone's life, including your own. So uh, thanks for being with us today, and we hope that it was helpful for you. This is Israel Epstein and Ms. Epstein signing out. We'll see you next time.